What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I am very sweaty. It says it's 67 degrees in here, but it feels very hot. Uh, what time is it, Jess? It is 2.30. 2.30 p.m. We're just now getting around to starting the vlog because we had we had extended our website sale for an extra day because the website's been having, you know, some traffic issues where too many people visit it and it goes down. So we extended it for a day. <clears throat> and when we came in this morning, we had close to 100 orders again <laughs> to pull. So we actually just finished. We got here, well, I got here at about 11 and I started pulling orders right away. And with the help of everyone else, we finally got done right before 2.30. So there's a lot of packages that have already been shipped. Mailman came earlier, picked up a bunch of stuff. We have this tub that's full, that tub that's full, all those stacks, the stuff up on the counters here. There's a lot. And I think there's still more orders out there that Abby has not scanned out yet, but she's about done. So um, if you guys have not received your tracking already from your order from our sale, then you should be getting it either today or possibly tomorrow. There's still a lot of orders, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get them all packed up today, but Jess is doing her best. Yep. Right, Jess? Yep. So thank you guys so much for all your support on our five year anniversary sale. It has been amazing. Um, like hundreds of orders, hundreds and hundreds of orders, which has been crazy. Um, and then maybe if you include the in-store sales, definitely well over a thousand items, which is pretty crazy for one week, but it's awesome to see. And now starts the hard work where we have to finish up shipping and then we get to enter all of the stuff that's been waiting. So we have a package from Venezuela that came in. We had multiple trade-in packages with some rare games. Sam's collection, everything that I bought on my trip with Cody and everything that Abby and I bought on our trip driving from Florida back to Washington State. There is a ton of stuff. We already got some entered and run through this morning. So if you're looking for rare games, there's a lot of new stuff on the website. So definitely check it out. Top link in the description down below. Two hours later. Jess, yes. now how many packages are left? Ooh, let's, let's find out. Because it's 4.30 something right now. Let's see, it's been a few hours and we have 56 left. What? <laughs> I think, oh, we got a couple. We got another one. So we got some new ones. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure more than two packages got done in, in the last two hours. Well, we, uh, we're at 88 or 90 something, aren't we? I thought you said 58. Earlier. La for, yeah, earlier. The peeps know. Yeah, they'll know. The they'll peeps, remember. the peeps know what's up. They remember. <laughs> we got a pretty awesome package in the mail, so I'm gonna run through this really quick. We have Final Fantasy Anthology, Legend of Mana, Disgaea 4, Persona 4 Arena, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, Yakuza 3, Yakuza 4, God of War, Last Guardian, then we have Monster Hunter. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, Kingsfield, The Ancient City. We do not see that one super often. We have the Metroid Prime with the bonus disc. And lastly, we have the Dark Souls. Uh, I don't know the name of this exact, but it's the special edition thing here with the, not a steel book, but the big like metal case and then the slip cover. So pretty cool. Hey, Abby. Hi, Cooper. We got some Switch games today. Yeah. What do we get? We got a few of them. Um, These are the tags? Yes. So, they just went into the inventory. We have Celeste. This is the standard edition but this from is, Fan Gamer. This is the new cover and everything. Mm -hmm. We have the deluxe edition from Fan Gamer. And this mm. includes the game, folded poster, a bandana, a souvenir magnet, a reflection art album, a journal set, golden feather pin, soundtrack, download code, and J card. It's and a J card. I'm not sure. We have basic Stardew. Restock. Restock on this. This does include like the update and everything. All the updates are free, obviously. We got Tunic in, and this is the Fan yes. Gamer one. Um, this comes with like an actual manual, a poster. The, so this is supposed to very much um, like pay homage to um, Legend of Zelda on the NES. So it comes with a poster that is a map. 
comes with a guidebook and everything. I think it also comes with the download code for the soundtrack. And, and the instruction manual is gold. Yes. And, and the logo gold. almost looks like yeah. Legend of Zelda. And then the last thing is we got a restock of these guys. The Stardew Valley Collector's Edition. Yes. So I guess people ask for Stardew all the time. And this is a game that we can order from our wholesalers, but we don't get it as often as we should. Yeah. So I think that going forward, we're going to try to have that in at all times. Definitely. Because it's it gets asked for as much as like Mario Kart or something, right? Mm -hmm. So we will we will try to have these in more often. Yes. But those are all available today. Hey, Ariel, we're about to close. Alright, finishing up a trade. <sighs> Several. Um, they just kept coming one by one, and so I was just, I would finish, shove it aside, and be like, how can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> that is how she talks to the customers. Oh my god! You're getting that today? Good. <laughs> Every time. Ooh, this also came in. Little OLED switchy. Yes. But, it's missing the back door <laughs> on the dock. Is there a way for us to, like, replace that? Or... We can check Nintendo's website and see if they have replacements, because sometimes they'll have that kind of stuff, but... It's not really a huge deal, mm. I suppose. If someone just wants it to play, they're not a collector or whatever, it probably doesn't matter that much, but But even non-collectors deserve nice things. They do, but they may not care. Yeah, I wouldn't. Just like most people that come in here don't care about getting a game with a little bit of wear to the cover artwork or maybe missing a manual. Right. <laughs> it's really only the collectors that really, really care. Yeah, they scrutinize everything. Yeah, they scrutinize. That's what they do when they look at the games. <laughs> hey, I don't know about this. Me and all the other collectors. <laughs> oh, I hold, is that what you do? Yeah, I hold the game like two inches from my eyes, and then I make that weird face. I I look really, really hard. Yeah, see, now you're a collector. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> now you're a real collector. <laughs> Is my face all red now? A little bit. <laughs> Are you blushing? Yes. I get it. I get oh it. Oh my god. There's a lot of people watching. I get it. <laughs> oh shoot. And you just embarrassed yourself. <laughs> That's okay. Did you know you can't transform in this game? What? Yeah, you're just a car. <laughs> well, try harder. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, it's about time to close, guys. So that's all you get for the trades. You'll see them here in a little bit. We're just going to film them in the morning. Right, Ariel? Yes. What? Name Earl? So we're closed for today now. And unfortunately, as you guys can probably tell, I didn't get to film as much as I wanted today. Um, we were just super, super busy pulling orders. And then we were actually really busy in store as well. And uh, <clears throat> obviously, Kyle would normally work today, but he has started school. So... He's not here, and then Ryan doesn't work on Thursdays, so it was just the four of us today. Um, one project that I've been working on uh, that I haven't really been filming too much is we we had a huge stack of disc-only GameCube games, which um, Kyle and Colton tested all of them. Uh, we have a, we have a stack that needs to be resurfaced, and then we have a stack that needs to be resurfaced and then tested again because they did not work. But what we are doing with them is we are making our custom covers so that we can put out these disc-only games without it looking terrible on the shelf. So this is half, well, a little bit less than half of what I've done so far. I've got tags printing and I have these ready to go as well. Um, so uh, this is a very, very small portion of what we have done already, but our GameCube selection is so small, this is going to look a lot better. We're actually gonna have way more options available for people to purchase because like I mentioned earlier when I was filming that clip with Ariel, most people don't really care about having the original case. As long as it looks nice, that most people are going to be happy. So these are all disc only. They are marked as disc only, but we do have our custom cases with them. And uh, once this, these, these, and these tags are printing now, once they're done, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with them on the shelf because these have already been resurfaced and ready to go out. But I'll do a quick clip before and then after right here. So here is our GameCube section before. This is the cheaper stuff where you can grab it. Anything 15 bucks or up is in here. There's a couple glass case games in here. So now let me show you what it looks like when I put them all away. <laughs> so it doesn't, <laughs> I was filming, oh, I'm leaving it in. <laughs> so there isn't too much of a difference, but as you can see, uh, we have all the orange spines here, which is very easy to tell. 
the the games were sorted alphabetically before they started being tested because we wanted because there's duplicates we wanted to have them together so you can see how much we kind of added in there and uh, once we go through the rest of it this is probably going to be four or five shelves of GameCube which is going to be really really awesome and then I did add the one to the glass case as well you can see push these down a little bit farther so hopefully we can get the rest of them done there's a lot but if you're looking for disc only stuff we got them now. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. So we will see you guys in the morning in a second. Bye. 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 Ah! It's the next morning. Yeah. <laughs> we planned this. Trade in time. Yay. All right, guys, here we go, right at the beginning of the day. I'm doing it this time, because I want to let you guys know that there's a lot of really, really, really good stuff in here. And you may have seen some of this before. Um, all the stuff that we're entering from Sam's collection, from both of the road trips, and then uh, everything else that we have gotten that we were waiting to enter until after our trip, we're going to be showing you it mixed in with the trades because now they have price tags on them and then now you know it's in the system. So wanted to mix them in with the trades so you'll see some really, really awesome stuff in here plus regular things that came in. So we got a bunch more Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, Donkey Kong Classics in the box. 111 means it's complete, the four means it's in poor condition so the box or something about it's gonna have some wear and tear, some damage. We have some other random stuff here, Xbox hard drive, couple of the new Game & Watches, one Super Nintendo game. We have some other NES games that came in, nothing too crazy. Armored Core 6 comes out today. We're filming this portion of today's video on Friday, so this comes out today. We also got the PS4 one. Um, here's some other ones up here. And then all the games here are $12.99 or cheaper. Got a big stack of Wii U games in, which is pretty cool. Always love seeing those. And then these were the more expensive Wii U games. Nothing too crazy. But then we have some Dreamcast stuff. And as you can see, there's some pretty good ones in here. Really, really awesome. Uh, we've also been, I think we've mentioned it a few times, but we've actually been going through and we are creating, like this is the Sega All-Stars version, which is basically greatest hits or player's choice. We have been going through our inventory and we are trying to fix every single one of these. So we're not done yet, but eventually when you order a game, if it says if it if it says greatest hits in the title, it will of course be a greatest hits copy. And if it doesn't say anything, it should be the black label one. That's how we're trying to do it. Um, it's gonna take some time, so don't expect that for a while. I will tell you when we're done though. We also have some awesome PS1 games here, some uncommon ones. And then one more expensive Wii game. We have Altered Species for PS3. And then we have Popful Mail for the Sega CD. This one is in a box protector, which is kind of like scuffed up. Uh, that's not on the actual case. That's just on the box protector here. Um, the registration card is still attached and is included. It's got a little bit of waviness on the back, which I was going to uh, heat press. So we'll do that later. Hopefully that comes out really awesome. We also have some really, really good PS2 games here. Haunting Ground, of course, being the, the standout. And this is the one that we got in. Uh, it's got a little bit of a rip right there on the artwork. And then there's a stain on the inside of the artwork, kind of right here. Um, so this is definitely marked as poor condition, but it is complete at least. A couple of loose Switch games. We have Switch games with their cases. These ones are um, restock slash new release. And then we have some handheld stuff here. This one is Mario Advance 2, I believe. And then lastly, we have the GameCube stuff. So there's also some really, really good ones in here. This one, unfortunately, does not have the manual, but it does have that original case. So it's got the serial number sticker inside. And overall, some pretty good stuff. So when you're looking at the tags, 111 is complete. 110 means that there's no manual. So whenever you see 110, it's not complete. For the condition, two is good, three is fair, four is poor. So just keep that in mind. That's why you'll see price differences sometimes. Um, but here is the big boy. So 
Gotcha Force. This came in a package um, we bought from one of you guys. Well, we didn't buy it. We traded uh, one of you guys. We don't normally do trade through the mail because it's kind of a hassle. We normally just purchase everything. But this one was offered to us in trade straight across for that very expensive Pokemon figure set that we got in that was like $400. And uh, obviously we could not say no to that. So very, very cool to see that in here. Um, also, I wanted to mention real quick because there's three Mario Sunshines here and you see a price difference here. Uh, the one that's marked as in poor condition is the most expensive. Here's why. Regular copy, regular copy, not for resale. That ink is on the actual case, not the artwork. Uh, but the not for resale one is the pack-in version. It just happens to be a little bit more rare. So even though it's in the worst condition, it is priced up a little bit because of that. Uh, but it's on a separate listing in the system as well. So if you just want the game to play, obviously one of these is going to be better. But you know, this one is the pack-in version. So if you have that console, but you need the game to complete your set, there you go. Do you like playing video games that make you want to yell? Do you like screaming when you play video games? Do you like to be in pain when you play video games? Then you should play Bloodborne. It is a From Software game. It's the same people who made Dark Souls. It's uh, the people who made Elden Ring. Um, I have not played Elden Ring. I have not played Sekiro. I have not played any of the Dark Souls games. I have played Bloodborne. It is apparently the most difficult of the From Software games. Um, it has a large focus on just attacking and um, opportunity attacks. Um, it has a system where if you get hit, uh, you still have a chance to regain some of that precious, precious HP um, by getting in more strikes and regaining your HP with each hit. Um, the bosses are very difficult, <laughs> but you know, like any boss, they have their predictable patterns that you can learn how to fight and play with. I played a lot with my girlfriend when I first started. That's another thing, it's multiplayer. You can play with people you know. You can also play with people you don't know, and you can get invaded by people you know and don't know. So that's also a fun little, uh, <laughs> well, I say fun, but it is a little bit shocking to have a random stranger named like XX Killer Man XX um, show up and then have him stalk you throughout the level that you're trying to survive in. Um, so if that level of anxiety sounds like a great great time for you then please play bloodborne so this copy of potful mail i was going to heat press it because i thought that it was just a little bit wavy this happens on sega cd and saturn case artwork but it's actually a little bit water damaged so i might have to change this condition to pour we are still going to heat press it though so here is the before the bottom part's fine it's just the top it's kind of wavy as you can see um, but we're going to run this through the heat press and i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done We use paper on both sides of this because this like rubber that's underneath here, wow, that's freaking hot. <laughs> it's 170 degrees, I should not be touching that. But that rubber that's under there has a texture to it. And the first time we heat pressed a manual, um, it actually left a texture on the paper. So now we have the other cardstock in there to protect it. All right, so it's been in here for about 20 minutes, half an hour. We're gonna see how it looks. Bam. It's obviously still water damaged. We're not going to get rid of that, but you can see it's pretty flat now. So it looks a lot better. I will probably still change the condition down uh, because it is actually water damaged, but now it looks a lot better. So I know that I've been talking about our new printer and these custom things a lot, and I, I haven't really done it <laughs> as far as I know over the past couple days, but I was about to buy ink because we're printing full color pages. This is what we're down to. The yellow is already halfway gone. So I was like, let me buy some ink now so that we don't have to worry about, you know, not having any. And I was looking on eBay and this place has these aftermarket ones and it's the full set. So you get all of them. And if you buy five of them, you get them for less than $12 each with free shipping. 
for buying five, I already get a $10 discount. So for less than 60 bucks shipped, I can get five entire sets of this. And I looked on Reddit to see if anyone had used aftermarket ink with this printer. And everyone says that it works perfectly fine and they can't tell a difference. So I'm going to do that. And that makes me pretty happy because I think the OEM ink is like 50 bucks for a pack. And this is less than $12 for a pack. That is insane. Bruh. What are you doing? Fixing this. You got to put more stuff out, is that why? Yeah. Oh. This is me game. I just put this cute little Gacha Force in between the, the GameCube and the Wii games. I had the opportunity to buy Gacha Force a long time ago for about $45 at GameStop. And um, I didn't because I was like, that game looks dumb. I want the Zeldas because I got some Zelda games. Granted, it was Twilight Princess on GameCube and then the Collector's Edition and uh, the Ocarina of Time one. And they were like, looked like someone had just unsealed them and then took them to GameStop. <laughs> which... That could have happened. And then I was like, I'd rather have those in Gacha Force, but. <sighs> so sad. I've heard, I have not played Gacha Force, but I've heard it's actually really, really good. I I got to trade it in for the first time, and Coop wasn't here naturally. And I like played it for a little bit because I was like, I want to make sure this works before I buy it. Yeah, Colton. What? What are you? What is that? <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> what are you doing? Whole life. Uh, this was a return. A return. Um, he was having like issues with the power button, like. Uh, he would have to hit it multiple times, turn it on, and then sometimes when he would just be playing, it would just turn off randomly. Uh -huh. um, he said like it started like functioning better the more he messed with it, but he still didn't really like that it was having issues, so yeah. he just swapped it out with another one. So we got this one again. We might have to... Sounds like it probably just something. needs to be opened and cleaned. That's what it sounds like. Because if uh, it was getting better with use, that usually is just, just you know, dirt. yeah. yeah. Something. Something simple, hopefully. We'll figure it out, though. Yeah, Luckily, yeah. we had a replacement. <laughs> yes, we did have something that was happening. So. Good, because I, I know someone brought in something the other day that uh, was having an issue, and we didn't have a replacement. Yeah, Which, that's, that's never fun. Yeah, so what, what's that? Yeah. Oh, nothing. You're just checking in? Yeah. Oh. Just making sure you're doing your job. So we got TV. Oh, yeah, we did. We, we got TV. I it, was in the middle it's not of cleaned yet? It. Oh, okay. I mean, this is dirty. There was, like, a bunch of, like, splatter right here that I got off. I wouldn't worry about the um, dust in the, the thing. Well, look at this side. This side looks so much better when it's cleaned. I guess. <laughs> it's RF only, though. <laughs> yeah, it is RF only. But, you know, it's a nice little TV. Yeah, my favorite brand, Symphonic. <laughs> yeah, it's the best one. This is a big TV to be RF only. Yeah. Usually the RF ones we get are... Like half this size. Yeah, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, cool. This will be a cool TV to have. And then I turn around like, oh, why is it only RF? <laughs> so this is only for your NES or your Atari stuff or whatever. Yeah, like, I was playing Master System on it. It looked really good with the Master System. Yeah. So I feel like we don't get enough TVs that we actually film or talk about, but... We do carry CRT televisions, which is what this is. If you guys are playing retro video games, a CRT is usually... One of the best options. So if you want to play like a duck hunt or any other phaser gun game, this is what you need. You gotta have one of these. Got to. There's Thanks. there's some adapters you can use for the NES Zapper, but they only work with Duck Hunt, not the other games. Yeah, exactly. And this is the way to go. Yes. Um, but this one is RF only, which means it only has the coax input. Yeah. So, so it only has the antenna. It only it. has that. There's no red, white, and yellow for the AV. So Sad. only the older consoles will really hook up to this. I mean, you could, I guess you could downscale something. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody would want to do that. But yeah. normally we price TVs at 50 bucks. We pay 25, price at 50. Since this is RF only, we usually mark those down a little bit lower. So this mm -hmm. one's going to be 39.99. Yes. And if we get ones that have a built-in VCR or built-in DVD player, those ones usually get marked higher. Yeah. Indeed. And then we've had some special ones like Hello Kitty mm -hmm. TV. That's like a hundred or something. Yeah, we had a princess different things. TV, but that one was like missing some stuff, so I don't think it was that much. Yeah, but it was still really cool to have. We still want some for our personal stuff as well. At least for the store, like we have this red one, which everyone loves. Everyone sees that in the TikToks yeah. and they comment on that. Oh yeah. 
Um, we have this little one, which has this PS2 like built in on the top. That's how we got it. It's kind of cool. And then we have Way over there, we have a, that SpongeBob, SpongeBob one. But up there we have our oh yeah PS TV PlayStation 3D one. But we want the Ninja Turtle one and uh, Shrek. There's a Shrek one. Yes. There's also a Cars, Cars one. one. Yes, yes. So, yes. and then there's a Pikachu VCR. So we want to get all that stuff. <laughs> It would be so cool. Yes, but I only want to get the Pikachu VCR if it's got the original box with it. Because yeah. it's not just like a regular cardboard box. It's like full color artwork and everything. Yeah. It's so cool looking. I know. <laughs> I should have bought one years ago when I was looking at them when they were like 120. Because I think now they're probably like four or 500. <laughs> Maybe not that much. I don't know. I haven't looked in a while, but they're so freaking cool. Right, Ariel? Yeah. Yes. What? Where'd this come from? Oh yeah, a fan came in, and they actually didn't return, uh, what? <laughs> but uh, this kiddo made that for us, and apparently that's like the 10th try. Oh, He made the O a little Mario coin. I know. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Forgot about it. Ariel abandoned look. Ryan in the middle of a tray. Uh -huh. I was hungry. <laughs> so, look, it's not ours yet. Oh, it's, it's not, not ours. ours. You guys can just look at this instead. Yeah. And that. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. So you got to test that stuff? Wait, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll see it tomorrow because we definitely aren't looking at oh, it tonight. Uh, it seems to be mostly consoles and stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. I see a little stack of games. There's something I wanted to mention. Uh, what? I think it was like right when you guys got back. Um, <laughs> a customer brought in a Pokemon Crystal in the box. And I was able to finish our Pokemon collection for all the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance mainline boxes. Yes. Does that make sense? <laughs> I, think we, I think we did talk about that when it happened. Did we? Oh, I didn't think we did. Yeah, because the, the guy brought in, like, gold, crystal, sapphire, leaf green, or whatever. Yeah. And then he took our offer for, I think, sapphire? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he wanted, yeah. and maybe leaf green, but he wanted to keep the crystal or whatever. And then Ryan's like, would you sell just the box? Because that's all I want. All and the guy's like, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> so I wanted to thank him for doing that. I appreciate it. I, I didn't know if we mentioned it, so I wanted, to, I wanted to thank him if he watches. I think he does. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Very awesome. Yeah. What was his name, Ryan? I don't remember. Jess. Cooper. What did you just do? I completed it. Completed what? All the orders. Yeah! So if you place an order during our online sale, it mm -hmm. has now been shipped. Minus a couple that have posters with mm -hmm. them. Because we ran out of poster tubes. And they should be delivered on Monday. Yeah. So if you bought posters from us and you don't have tracking yet, that's why. Mm -hmm. You'll get it on Monday when our poster tubes arrive. Because we don't have any way to ship them. No. <laughs> um, didn't realize we were so low. Mm -hmm. And we... Stretched them as far as we could. Yes, definitely. So, uh, Mailman came earlier, picked up a lot of stuff, but he also has all this to get tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Do we have any eBay stuff? I just, just got the last one out. Heck yeah. yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. So, we have been live streaming from the store, guys. And I know that I've probably talked about this a couple times already, but link in the description down below to follow me on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash sickcooper. That's S-I-C-C-O-O-P-E-R. You can follow there and we're going to be streaming a lot more. Um, it is just about 5 p.m. right now. So this is when I'm starting it. My plan is to stream from now until we close. So a couple hours. And um, after the stream is over, um, or maybe even we'll use Abby's phone and during um, we still need to film trades and do a couple other things for the rest of this video, but I'm going to start the stream now. So sorry if you didn't catch it, but you know for next time. So make sure you follow me on Twitch if you want to see the store live streams. Lots of cool stuff got traded in today. This is also some of the stuff that Cooper has entered that we've had waiting um, until after we did our sale. Um, this is for a few reasons, but the main one was that maybe we pa paid a high percentage that we couldn't really have the sale happen. But we're going to start off with some Super Nintendo. We've got Power Pigs. Uh, this is a printed artwork or a cut box. I don't know which one it is. 
uh, but it oh cut box so this is a cartridge only but it does come with the cut box if you if we still have it and you order it we have gold patrol complete pour then we have some box nes games so we have shinjin the ruler uncharted waters and then we have flintstone the rest flintstones rescue of dino and hoppy image fight and then we have Mickey Mousecapade Contra, Mega Man 5, and Darkwing Duck. I think that Cooper just lowered the price on Darkwing Duck. Am I mistaken? Yeah, but we have two copies now. Oh, we have two copies. Wizardry, um, Arquista's Ring, and we have Super C and Wampum. And then we have some Switch titles, Nier Automata, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Bayonetta. We have Omega Labyrinth Life as well. That is an import, uh, Trials of Mana, Collection of Mana, and then I have, I've seen a few of these um, quite recently where it is like a foreign one, which is pretty cool. And then we have some loose PSP games, 20, well, one's a movie, 28 Days Later, and Daxter. And then we have Donkey Kong. This is a player's choice. We've started to distinguish that on our website, but we're still working through that. So if you ever don't want player's choice or greatest hits or whatever you want to call it, uh, go ahead and request that in your order notes. And then we have some complete PSP stuff. No manual on this Mario Kart Super Circuit. Same with this one, unfortunately. A sideways PSP game. We have Dark Hat Infection. And then we have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. This one is complete. Ico or Ikkyo or whatever you pronounce it like. And then we have some GameCube games right here. Double Dash, Wind Waker, Wave Race, and Jeremy McGrath. Every time I see this, I'm like, it's Dave Mira in my head. We have Wii Game and Minecraft on the Xbox One. Oh, some more PSP titles. I didn't realize those were up here. So we have the Golden Compass, um, and that's the game. And then this is Open Season, the movie, Fantasy Golf Pangea, and then <clears throat> I think this needs a new case, which is why the tag is like that right now. SSX Tour, PS3 game. That is a late release. Anytime you see that blue on that title, it is a late release, which is super cool. Um, they like shifted from their these looking cases to this to prepare for the ps4 release and then we have la noir and red dead redemption a few more gamecube 1080 a really good game and then ps1 titles we have madden 102 dalmatians army men barbie race and ride um and the surfing game and then crash of the titans we completed that that came into us cart only and then two NES games, cartridge only. And those are our treats for today. What character, video game character shoes would you like own and wear? Saurus. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, can I say hell? <laughs> uh, well, I already said the F word earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, that's all the, the big food. Yeah, I guess. No, you can do another one. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I Shoe do. Mario. Shoe Mario. I like the only shoes I can think of are like the metal shoes from Ocarina of Time and I don't want those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alternatively the hover boots from Ocarina of Time okay, yeah. are really, really yeah. good. Are they? Um, yeah. Kind of just like <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but imagine being able to do that in real life. So, I want Sonic's soap shoes from Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and you can actually get yeah. soap shoes. Yes. So one day I'm gonna get them. I don't think they make them. You're gonna them go in my grinding side, on them with them? No, I'm just gonna like look at them. In her just mind. gonna look at them. What <laughs> <laughs> you right? What about what shoes? Uh, <coughs> um, cloud shoes. He has cool boots. I like, I, boots. I like his boots. Boots. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I like cloud boots. boots. <laughs> yeah. He wants Tetsuya Nomura boots. I want I want Boots' is boots from Dora and the uh, he's not a, or he's not a video game character. He is. There's a he Dora is. the Explorer video game. He didn't start out. It doesn't game. matter. So, so cool. <laughs> okay. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Boot Budokai. Yeah. Well, All right, we're wap. Okay. Back to the future, Marty's shoes. Then. Okay. I'm sure, they're in some. <laughs> Ariel is so back annoyed. <laughs> Cooper. Is do they have the plunder shoes in any of the Rick and Morty games? Because I'll pick those. Oh no, uh, I don't, think, I don't so. think so. 
Well, I pick plunger shoes. You're not on the camera properly. Come here. No, I'm on that camera. Okay. Thank you so much for joining our video today. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, and yeah. comment, and follow us and on Twitch. And ring that bell. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Bye. Bye. Bye.